People, this is Car Lane here um, in downtown Los Angeles in a part that I call Little New York because all the high rises here. I'm gonna flip this around. You see that over there? That crane? That be building is being constructed and built. And I'll go over here. Another building over there is where the crane is being constructed and built. These are commercial zoned buildings. But that's not the point. I'm a real estate license and I just want to tie in the business strategy. When you build a business, you want to build a strong business. Yes, we all know that obvious but it's like looking at a building typically you want to take into a thought that these buildings didn't just appear here yes they were built and they're being built but even before then there was an architect there's a blueprint there's a strategy implemented on how they wanted the uh, building to be constructed how they wanted to be built and uh, what, what zoning they want so that's the same way you have to look at business is that you want to build your business on a strong foundation you don't want to build your house on sand as the old saying goes so these buildings are built on strong foundation and they're basically see the crane over there this takes a lot of implementation a lot of licensing zoning etc that's going on so that's how you have to look at business is that you want to take as much time as possible to write down your ideas first before you even do anything be a, be an architect of your business be an architect of your business and do your best to figure out how to actually make your business succeed in theory at least be the be the architect of your business make a blueprint make an uh put your ideas down to paper see if it's realistic take some time don't just rush into it then once you do that you take a step by step like the building process of a building a business then you build it on a strong foundation okay you start off if you're gonna start off with debt you figure out an uh, exit strategy on how to pay that negative equity that you accrue so if it's financing a vehicle for example to put on Turo, you want to basically turn that into positive a positive a positive from negative so you're getting a loan that you're net negative and he, make sure you accrue enough amount with GRM, gross rent multiplier strategy I've used before and stated, and I'll leave the link below to GRM, how to actually profit when you purchase a car and turn a negative equity into a positive asset. So you can turn a liability into an asset that any asset in the wrong hands is a liability. Any negative, uh, any liability could be turned into an asset in the right hands. So that's what, look at, when I look at buildings, I go my real estate walks because I'm also real estate licensed. I love commercial properties. I like real estate in general, but my specialty is commercial uh, property. At this point, I pretty much compare business to a commercial property or any, even any real estate. You've got to build a house on a strong uh, foundation, not on sand, so it could weather the storms of business and the blows of life. And once you build a strong business, a strong true business, you'll have good reviews that will back you up uh, if someone lies on you. You'll have uh, positive equity to accrue uh, that will build your wealth while using a uh, borrowing other people's money or banks uh, financing. You gotta build a strong business, but first starts with writing on a piece of paper, people. Write your ideas down like an architect does a building, and then slowly go through it, and then take your time and go through, uh, through it. Try to do your best, make the best decisions. Life isn't perfect, we're not perfect, but do your best. That's all you have to do, people, to succeed. Write down your ideas, follow it through, think it through, add your card to tool, figure out what your APR is, how you're gonna pay that debt off as soon as possible so that you can actually own the asset and make a compounding wealth building effect where now you're earning pure profit and bottom line, that, that's the goal here. So follow the video below, I look for GRM, how to actually earn income by adding vehicles to Turo. Very important is gross rent multiplier is a term used in commercial real estate to figure out the rents that are being collected and how to actually earn an income based off the rent and make sure you're in the positive. Um, long story short, I'm gonna keep it short though. Um, just look at these beautiful people. Also think about Turo and tying the two in together. Just create a strong business plan. Simple, simply put, just create a strong business plan. Write your ideas down. Make your business and turn it into a skyscraper like this. Turn your, turn your business into a skyscraper. Like, subscribe, share. Carlin out.